Ever wondered what tetanus is and why it can be so deadly? Tetanus is a serious bacterial infection caused by Clostridium tetani. This bacterium typically resides in soil, animal feces, and the human gut. When the bacterium infiltrates a wound, it produces a toxin that triggers muscle contractions leading to the characteristic symptoms of tetanus. Symptoms of tetanus typically appear within 7 to 21 days of infection. Common symptoms include stiff jaw muscles, also known as lockjaw. This is the most common and initial symptom of tetanus, which makes it challenging for the patient to speak, chew, and swallow. Stiff neck. A stiff neck can make it difficult for the patient to bend their head forward. Back pain. Back pain can radiate down the legs. Seizures. Seizures are a severe symptom of tetanus and can be fatal. Fever. Fever is a common symptom of tetanus. Scene script. Tetanus is caused by the Clostridium tetani bacterium. This bacterium can enter the body through open wounds, including cuts, cuts on the skin, especially deep or dirty cuts. Burns. Burns can create an environment conducive to tetanus bacteria growth. Insect bites. Insect bites can become infected with tetanus bacteria if the insect has been in contact with soil or animal feces. The best way to prevent tetanus is through vaccination. Tetanus vaccines are very effective in protecting you from the disease. Children should receive the tetanus vaccine according to the recommended schedule by the Department of Health. Adults should also receive a tetanus vaccine every 10 years. In addition to vaccination, you can take several measures to reduce the risk of tetanus. Clean and disinfect all open wounds. Cover wounds with sterile dressings. Seek medical attention if you have an open wound, especially if the wound is dirty or caused by a sharp object. Avoid walking barefoot in areas where tetanus bacteria might be present, such as gardens or animal stables. Tetanus is a severe infection that requires antibiotic treatment and other supportive measures. Antibiotics are used to kill tetanus bacteria. Other supportive measures may include muscle relaxants. Muscle relaxants are used to reduce muscle contractions. Ventilators. Ventilators are used to assist breathing in patients who have severe seizures. Intravenous feeding. Patients may need to be fed intravenously if they cannot eat or drink due to muscle contractions. The mortality rate of tetanus can be high, especially in children and the elderly. However, with timely treatment, the mortality rate can be significantly reduced. Remember the information in this video is intended as a reference only. Always consult your healthcare provider for specific advice on preventing and treating tetanus. In summary, tetanus is a serious bacterial infection caused by Clostridium tetani. It is characterized by symptoms such as lockjaw, stiff neck, back pain, seizures, and fever. Tetanus can be prevented through vaccination and good wound care. If contracted, tetanus requires immediate medical attention and treatment with antibiotics and supportive care.